What's up guys, the May Patreon rewards are now available. Cyclonic Rift, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and Avison Angel of Hope are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or by clicking the link in the description below. What's going on guys? Welcome to part two uh, with this Mardu Knights list. Uh, testing this out on the best of one ladder and really enjoying the deck so far. Um, it definitely has its faults. It's a bit of an all-in strategy, but uh, that being said, this one has a little bit of built-in recursion, which makes it nice. So uh, if you're interested in checking out the full list, um, the, the actual full list is just down below. However, uh, if you want to kind of see the deck breakdown, you can check out video one. Um, this is an interesting keep, but I am going to keep it. Um, this may be incorrect, but we're going to try. Uh, let's see what we're up against here. Garuda deck. Uh, we might be able to power it out against a Garuda deck. Um, let's go with this first. Um, just because on the onset, this is going to deal more damage. Um, if we get a red land, we are like golden. Um, if we don't, like that, uh, that's a bit of a problem. But we do still have some plays, at least. So let's go ahead and swing in here. Uh, next turn, if nothing else, we get to pump up the knight here. So... Um, and my guess is they are not going to want to sacrifice this. Ooh, that's pretty good. Uh, let's do this first. Um, I'm not going to pump it up here. This deck doesn't do too much on the board interaction side of things, so I'm just going to spread out the board uh, as much as we can. Ooh, okay. My mistake. Sure. That's so annoying that it's a tapped land. Um, but we will play it out here. Uh, let's play Luris. All the damage in. As much as we can. And we'll see what they want to do. Um, if they make us sack a creature, we just get to sack this. And then it's like, okay, that's fine. Um, but they have to be careful of just blocking at this point. Yeah, there you go. Um, hmm. Let's do this. Sorry for the frame rate drop here, guys. We swing in, and we have the fight as one as back up here, so this is going to be hopefully very good for us. Um, there we go. All right, that was a quick first game. Um, network issues are the reason for the drops, guys. I know it's a little bit annoying, um, so I certainly apologize. But game one, we got. That felt great. Uh, and that's exactly what this deck is looking to do. It's looking to push through those last few points of damage with the fight as one or the unbreakable formation. So I am stoked. That worked out phenomenally. So let's jump into game two. Let's see if we can do it again. Um, I like being against like kind of non-interactive decks. Obviously that one had Rankle, which was, I don't think I've seen Rankle in the Garuda decks as of yet. Um, I just haven't seen it. So that was cool. Um, but normally those decks really don't run too much uh, interactions. So uh, Luris deck, huh? So, all right, let's just uh, go ahead and attack. Not sure what we want to play out first here. Probably just the the veteran. Um, mostly just so we can get a, a quick swing in here. <laughs> now they're going to be able to suck out some life here, which is going to suck at some point, but worse things have happened. We have the slight problem that we can't do too much in one turn here. Uh, don't like that. Let's try this. And we'll throw the Blood Crypt out. Um, I think we'll just attack with this. I don't particularly want to risk this because they are a Luris deck. They may be willing to kind of double up and uh, trade on something. I would 100% kill the Priest, but like, I, I would rather be a little bit safe. Um, this way, also, with this out now, if we draw a white source, we can play this, then maybe this, um, and get a little bit more damage in. 
Uh, we do have to sack a creature. We'll sack that. That's fine. And that actually gives us the option of going like Luris into Fervent Champion, um, which isn't bad for us. So, kind of okay with that. Yep. Do this. I'm gonna swing with this. We'll see if they wanna if they wanna block here. They don't. Um, now we have fodder, so we can like uh, like this is okay to sacrifice if they priest. Um, so we'll see. Uh, I really really like uh, worthy knight. That's such a good card. This is gonna suck. <laughs> um, we may just die here. <laughs> Uh, that is a definite possibility, but we'll see. Yeah, that's four, five, six, seven damage. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Blech. Eight damage, excuse me, I miscounted. Oh, and that just kills us. Ugh. Ugh. Well done, opponent. That was pretty sweet, though, I will say. Um, we, I mean, we had a pretty impressive board, but, you know, given that deck, I think that makes sense. So uh, I do think that's a bit of a un uh, a bad matchup. We have a pack. Let's open a pack. Um, and that's a problem, obviously. When you're looking, when you're evaluating a deck, that's like one of the top decks that you're going to be up against. So you do have to be very cognizant of that. Um, I don't know if this deck is like truly great against it. It's got some tech against it, so like that's kind of nice, but it doesn't have anything to truly stop what it's doing. Um, it just is more aggressive in, cer in certain ways. So, you know, it's not amazing, but it's fine. We'll keep this a bit of a slow hand, uh, to be honest, but and it looks like we're against Obosh. That's very good. Um, let's drop you out. Um... What am I leaning towards? Might be Corpse Knight. I'm not really sure. Uh, yeah, let's throw Corpse Knight out there. Let's be on the damage plan. I, I'm not 100% sure which is the right call, to be honest. Uh, Worthy Knight may very well be just so we could get more stuff out. Um, but I do think Worthy Knight is the next. Like, that's the follow up, I believe, here. They may shock this also. Oh, no, they just have Witches Oven. Just. Um, that's going to be very, very helpful uh, in the near future. Let's go ahead and do this. And I don't know if this is right, but I'm going to leave this untapped so we can leave up fight. Um, not 100% sure on this. Uh, but if they like go for a double block here, then I'll just do that. Figure I'm going to make them do this now. It's not going to matter too much, I don't think, but they may be questioning if they want to double block, but looks like they don't. <laughs> kind of silly attack there, I suppose. I didn't really have to do that. All right. Next turn, we will veteran for sure. Um... Again, probably with leaving up fight as one. If we do get another land, uh, we do have access to dire tactics, though. Like, that would be a good stop for this copycat combo for. Or, I always say copycat. Uh, for the Cauldron Familiar combo, but I don't actually think that's what we want to do. Really? Yeah. That's kind of annoying. Um, sure. always hate these steel effects. That's the worst. Yeah. Let's get you out there. Let's get you out there. Let's just deal some damage. Um, if they have more steel effects, that's going to really suck. Uh, they always do, but 
if they have them in hand specifically if they've got like a claim the firstborn or uh or more active treasons i don't usually see them run active treasons so much as claim the firstborn solely because this deck is looking to win pretty quickly um and so a lot of times it's just better to have claim because it's cheaper uh and if you're in the early turns of the game they're not gonna have anything too crazy anyway but you know it is what it is yep 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 hmm well that is a card let's play that card out all right uh we're just gonna attack all we'll give it to this <laughs> We do get to leave up fight as one here still, which is nice. Um, don't know what they're... I mean, they get Witch's Oven, I suppose, and Sacrifice with Woe Strider, if that's what they're considering. Yep. 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 Okay. <sighs> Need to figure out these network issues. Keep going down a little bit in the frame rates. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, I mean, they're going to do Cauldron Familiar sack, and then they get to sack the, uh, the goat token to save the damage. So we're only getting in for three here, but we did make them sack a few things. I mean, that's something. Um... Not to mention we get to leave up another inspiring veteran and a fight as one. Um, so we will see what they want to do. If they like go land Obosh, for instance, swing in, we can block. Uh, fight as one on the inspiring veteran and block like the Woe Strider uh, if they swing in with it. And then that way we're kind of set there. One on top, huh? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, bring it back. Such an annoying card. <laughs> I always hate Culture and Familiar combo. It's just so ugh, not fun to play against. Um, it's not even that fun to play is the problem, I think. Because, like, yeah, you get to always have this blocker. Like, it's fine. But it just doesn't feel all that great. Like, I mean, it's fine. I just don't love it. Yep. Let's do this. Let's do this. Um, doesn't matter to the non-human part, so we're just going to do this here. So at least we get to kill that. Thanks. All right. Um, yeah. Oh, and another dire tactics. Let's do it. They can sack it, that's fine. Oh, we're gonna make them sack it. Uh, I think we just win. I mean, they have no lands. They don't have a cauldron familiar in the graveyard. Oh, they can do this. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Sure. So you can block one of these things, but that doesn't... Down to one. Okay, so actually we do kind of lose, don't we? They can deal. Yeah, we lose. Ugh. Maybe should have left something back there, but that's okay. Uh, well done on the opponent's side. That was a cool game. Um, pretty close, actually. I mean, we were de both down to it. So let's give it the last game. Let's see how we do. Um, not having the best luck in the second video, but that's okay. I think... Um, you know, some of it's going to be misplays, I'm sure, but uh, I think a lot of it is just, like, 
I, I think we're realizing that this deck doesn't have always the best matchup. Uh, as any deck, you know, it's going to have its weaknesses. I think the sacrifice decks are this deck's weakness um, because they kind of endlessly have things to do, uh, which is obviously bad for us. Um, holy crap, our frame rate just tanked. What is going on, guys? I am so sorry. Ugh. It's so bad. If this makes this video unwatchable, I am very sorry. I completely understand. Um, uh, let's do this, and let's do this. We've tried everything in our power to fix this network issue. It is so bad here. Um, we're going to do our best to power through this so that way it's not too bad. It looks like we're in a fires deck here. Um, unfortunately, don't have much of a follow-up play here. I guess that's the plus side of this. We'll just adventure this. Very, very sorry for the frame rates, guys. I completely understand. Yeah. Okay, that's very helpful. Let's get you out there. And let's get you out there. Hopefully make this game as quick as possible so it's not too unbearable to watch. Um... Very good. We have the Dire Tactics in hand to deal with that, uh, as well as the Fervent Champion, just to add a little bit more, um, you know, power to the whole ratio here. Okay. That sucks, but it's not the end of the world. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can win this turn. Right? If we... Fervent Champion... Exile this. Uh, we'll power this guy up. It doesn't matter. And there we go. All right. That was a quick game, thankfully. I do apologize for the frames lost uh, in that game. That was pretty ugh, pretty sucky. It dipped as soon as we dropped into that game. Um, okay. Let's get this through. Let's, let's get back to our 30 frames. There we go. Okay. So here's my thoughts on the deck. Um... As we saw, it is very, very aggressive, and I do think it holds up pretty well uh, against other, I will say generally other aggressive decks. Um, it doesn't have a ton of tech. Uh, Dire Tactics is amazing, um, and the fight is one, as well as like Unbreakable Formation, which we really didn't get to see in this uh, gameplay, but uh, fight is one we did get to see occasionally. That kind of effect is nice, but it is a, a little bit... Um, not narrow, but it's a little bit specific in that, you know, it's just kind of saving your own creatures uh, and buffing them up, but it's really just saving them. Uh, and that's good. But um, the problem that you end up in is occasionally you'll have the situation where you just get outpowered um, or decks like the Lyra Sacrifice deck mitigate a lot of the damage that you're doing to them because of the Cauldron Familiar combo in particular or the Serrated Scorpions. And so... Um, you can go wide, you can go as, as fast as you want, but they're going to be able to mitigate that. And so I think it's a bit of a problematic deck to be against, which is not good for best of one right now. I mean, the reality is that's a lot of the best of one ladder uh, because it's a very strong deck uh, with good reasons. So I think it's a matter of, you know, it's a good deck. I don't think it's an amazing deck. Uh, it's not on the same level that I think we're seeing some other ones, but I do think it's quite good. I think it's worth testing. Maybe there's some other configurations adding in a little bit more of like the 1-1 one, one Death Touch Knights maybe. Um, that way when you are outpowered, you have a Death Toucher to kind of deal with it. Uh, maybe, you know, adding in just different ratios of things uh, might be a little bit more helpful. I love Luris as the companion. Um, we got to see that more in, game, in the first video, but um, occasionally it was nice to be able to just kind of rebuild uh, at least a little bit. Uh, with that Luris, so it kind of mitigates a lot of the the sweepers and things like that. Now, obviously, if they've got more than one, you're you're shot. Uh, I mean, you really have to rebuild quick if you can if you can. But it does get you to the point where you can kind of play two spells per turn, which is great. So, I like this deck. Um, I would continue trying this one out. 
I don't think that it's tier one, uh, if that makes sense, on the best of one ladder right now. But I do think it's very strong uh, and worth testing. So that's kind of my thing. Uh, if you're interested in testing it out, the deck list is below. So please do, you know, try it for yourself. If you've got a new configuration or you've got just a separate list altogether that you want to share, please do. Uh, we're, we're happy to test those out and try them. Um, I, I enjoy just kind of testing out new decks. That's part of why we do it the way we do it. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I am so sorry for the frame rate drop there. I know it's frustrating. Uh, it's, trust me, it's frustrating on my end. Our network is genuinely the problem. It, it only happens every time we connect into another network. It's, it's frustrating. Uh, regardless, still hope you found some enjoyment out of this video. Uh, if you did, like, comment, do all that jazz. But thank you guys so much for the support. I will see you very soon in the next gameplay video.